it's Alicia of Goals and Jordan's Living. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm all about living life goldenly. And here on this channel, I share with you behind the scenes on my travel inspired home fragrance and decor business, as well as bits and pieces of my daily life in between vacations. If that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribing. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. So this is behind the scenes of my Goals and Endurance living and travel inspired business. So recently I went to Fillmore Container to pick up some um, candle jars for my double wick candles. And I had also ordered some of their fragrance oils. This is my first time um, checking out their scents. So I got six fragrances. And this is just pretty much a fragrance review um, and just about my whole process of choosing fragrance oils. Um, as many of us know, scent and memory have a close connection. And I choose fragrances that remind me of different destinations, different places that I've been to, or places that I haven't been to yet, but what I imagine it would smell like. So let's go ahead and get into this fragrance review with Fillmore Container. So I have my tester strips. The first fragrance is Lavender, Sage, and Rosemary. And these are in... Oh, that smells really, really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the fragrance splatter. Of course, I will test these out in um, candle. I'll do like little candle samples just to see how the test burn is, how the hot throw is. And if anyone is new, or if you, hot throw is basically once your candle is lit, how strong that scent throw is from that particular candle. You may have heard of cold throw. Cold throw is basically when the candle is not lit, how strong is the scent throw um, or the fragrance that you're getting from that candle. So, lavender, sage, and rosemary. This definitely reminds me of a spa that I wanna be at right now. Um, I like that it has the sage and the rosemary and the lavender. It's just a really good blend of all three fragrances. It's very calming. It does remind me of um, a high-end hotel. I am curious to see how it is in wax form. The next fragrance is apricot chamomile. And I was like, apricot chamomile? That is a different blend. And I'm like, I had to put that in the cart. So apricot chamomile, as we know, chamomile is very, very calming. And oh my goodness, guys. Oh, <laughs> I wish you guys can smell this. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful scent. And I would have not thought to pair apricot and chamomile together. So you candle lovers out there, okay, what type of scents do you normally go for? Typically when I ask people at um, vendor events when they come by, they usually say it all depends on what mood they're in. Um, usually it's, or it's seasonal, okay? But they typically say whatever mood they're in. But oh my goodness, that apricot is coming through and it's not too fruity. Oh, that chamomile is beautiful. This is such a beautiful scent. That is definitely a yes, the apricot chamomile. Next one is the Oud Luxe. And I was like, okay, normally Oud can have a very earthy, very spicy, not spicy, but, but very earthy um, scent that can sometimes come off a little bit just in your face and bold. And this one actually has a dropper in here. Um, hold on, okay, let's get that out there. But I was like, okay, I'm like, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it is so light and oh, that is beautiful. This is, it, it's like a sensual type of fragrance. This is like a nighttime fragrance. This is like, it reminds me, I always say New York. It just reminds me like a New York night. Rooftop, <laughs> you're drinking like a nice cocktail and you're just looking at the city lights. It's deep, it's mysterious, it's not pungent, it's not funky. My only thing is it's light in a sense. And I don't know how it will be in um, wax form. I'm going to check and see if these can be used in um, a body oil. Because that would be a beautiful scent to wear at night. Um, but yes, y'all. Hold on a second. I'm just going to check on mine. I should have put it on. I should have pulled it up, but I sh I'm going to check online to see if these fragrances can be used on your skin. Hold on a second. All right, guys. So I'm on Fillmore Container's website, and it does say that that Oud Luxe can be used in soap and lotion applications. And of course, you just have to check with the SDS um, and IFRA documents just to see the amount um, or the percentage that you can use in lotions. But um, this scent is beautiful. So it has black iris, geranium leaves, jasmine, sweet vernal grass, cardamom, ling ling, vanilla, oud, um, leather, and immortel. I don't know what that is, but um, you're awesome, awesome, awesome. And it's definitely giving luxurious. It's definitely giving me like a luxurious hotel, um, but that, scent is amazing and I definitely have to try it in wax form <sighs> all right next one is cedar wood vanilla okay I feel like I smelt this scent before cedar wood vanilla okay so right at the beginning you definitely get that hit of vanilla but then towards the end you smell the cedar wood. You smell that woodsy scent. I feel like I've smelled scents like this before. Um, let me know down below. Are you a person that loves earthy scents? Fresh scents? Fruity scents? Um, spice? Oh, yeah. When you let it sit, that cedar wood comes through. It's a nice scent. I mean, so... I would definitely burn this scent now, like for the fall. Of course, in my area, it's not feeling like fall because it's like 70 degrees in November, and that's crazy. But that's nice. That's nice. But that Oud Lux, I'm still on that Oud Lux. The next one is River Rock. This one sounded very, very interesting to me, and I was like, River Rock? What does that smell like? What does a River Rock smell like? Um, so give me a second. River Rock Fragrance Oil. And this one definitely has, it has like five star rating on their website. Um, this one has lemon, sun kissed bergamot, mineral water, orange blossom, English lavender, white thyme, driftwood fluid must this is also suitable for soap and lotions um so okay y'all I should have told you all I sh I'm sorry I should have told you all what the fragrance notes were on the other ones but you can always go on to Fillmore Containers website so River Rock um because most of the scents in Golden and Jordan's Living Collection they are not per se fruity, but they are very tropical. I do have a few earthy scents. I have clean scents, but I wanted to add more, should I say dimension? Maybe not. I can't think of the right word for the context. In contact, context, context. Um, <laughs> anyway, River Rock. This smells like a men's cologne, y'all. 
River Rock. That is nice. You can definitely smell that lemon and bergamot coming through, but it's a nice men's cologne. I could definitely see someone putting this in soap form. This would be a nice soap fragrance. Um, I am definitely gonna try it out in wax form and see how it goes, but this is definitely a yes. Um, but as I was saying before, I wanted to kind of add some more earthy scents, some more scents that had some more death death i should say um you know because you kind of, i like fragrances that you don't really know what the scent notes are you just know that it smells good <laughs> the next scent is cool water this is a men's cologne i think it was by david off cool water type definitely smells good it's light but it's definitely a men's cologne and you could definitely use this in soap form and this would be a really nice men's candle very nice as i'm letting it whiff off <laughs> though it's kind of reminding me you gotta let it sit i think Cause it smells good and then I start to smell like a cleaning like a, um <laughs> not fabuloso but like fabuloso like a cleaning type of um scent but it's nice it's nice so what I my type my top favorites out of all of all six were these four the Oud Lux the River Rock the apricot chamomile was absolutely beautiful. And the lavender, sage, and rosemary. This is going to be a very beautiful, calming scent. Um, but you all, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy just a little bit behind the scenes of me just smelling fragrances, coming out. Well, I am going to be coming out with new collections. Oh, I love fragrance oils. It just... It just sets the tone, the atmosphere, and it just adds ambiance, you know? Um, but anyway, y'all, thanks for tuning in. Let me know down below, if you are a candle lover, what type of fragrances do you typically go for? And I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, keep living life goldenly. Bye, y'all.